Dude, just look at this wallpaper, dude. Come on, get on my level, you wish. <sighs> oh, man. So I really didn't know if I wanted to make this video or not. It's, it's actually really helpful, but... And as far as I know, the only way to do this is to download torrents of sub shows. But maybe it's acceptable if you already have, for example, a Crunchyroll account or wherever you, whatever show you're downloading. Honestly, you can get away with watching a whole bunch of different anime dub only. I haven't really used this software because there's so much dub anime out there. There's the different streaming services like Funimation and High Dive. Funimation has so many dubs on their website. I bought a subscription for I think it was $60 for a year back in September. They're constantly updating. If you're a fan of anime or dubbed anime you should already know this stuff. High Dive which I, I found out about a couple weeks ago on the anime dub subreddit. High Dive hosts Sentai Filmworks dubs. They have a big growing catalog and it's really cheap too. You can get both of those services. There's also Crunchyroll which I think they have some dubs. They do mainly subbed only shows. But guys support the industry. We'd be screwed without them. We would have no dubs. Or if you watch sub shows get a Crunchyroll account. By the way this goes not just for anime but any subtitled show. But I'd be a hypocrite if I said torrenting is bad because I torrented stuff in the past not just anime. Me. and it really hurts the industry you know it costs money to produce the shows it also costs money to dub them so I still have torrents I don't know if these are justified but my internet sometimes goes out so I download if I'm gonna watch a show I download the whole thing so I can watch it offline so maybe it is okay if you pay for subscriptions to have these shows you download them so you can actually watch subtitled anime or any other show that has subs before you get started you have to know the difference between hard subs and soft subs Hard subs are encoded in the video, which basically means it's just part of the video, and there's no way to read that. Soft subs are video, usually an MKV file, that come with separate subtitle files or tracks that you can turn off and on. The one you want is soft subs. So whenever you're looking for your show, make sure to pick the soft sub version. When I first found this software, I didn't use it because it didn't work well. Whenever the subtitles would come on, text -to speech would read it twice. But then looking around for a solution online, mainly because the version of KM Player I was using didn't work properly. And then I went through this whole process of getting the latest version, but that one didn't work at all. But first thing, and then I found in a forum that 3.7 works fine for Texas speech and the one I had was 3.8 and the one I tried to get was 4.2. Both of those didn't work. Super long intro, but first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description, click onto where it says click here to download, go through the installation process. When you download it and launch it, you'll see all these weird ads. Don't worry about that, it goes away. Go ahead and take your soft sub file, drag it and drop it into the player in the middle of the advertisements. There's so many different options in here. There's a 3D, a VR, and a bunch of different settings. What you want to do is down to the bottom left and click on the little settings wheel a smaller window will open up in the middle of the player and there's even more settings you could even increase the font of the subtitles there's another setting wheel that you're going to want to click on now you'll see a big box with a bunch of more different settings on the left is a bunch of different options you can click on you're going to want to scroll down to where it says subtitle processing scroll down to the bottom where it says multi sub slash etc and then click on that and on the top there are three tabs one that says general advanced and text to speech click on the text to speech icon you have a couple different options here. Here you have three options with checkboxes. The first one is read the movie subtitles comprised of text. That's the one that reads the subtitles for you. So you click that. The second one is read the messages displayed on the screen. I've never used that before. And the last one is read the title or file name while starting playback, which will read the name of the file when you start playing, but I don't need that either. Next is the TTS engine. Click on the drop down menu and then click the voice you want. I have Sally, which is a really high quality voice. So if you don't have one, you might want to buy one. Next is speed and volume. Keep the volume at 100% and then speed, you can change it to whatever you want. Now go to the bottom right and then click on the close button to save. You'll still see ads on the right, but they'll go away when you full screen by clicking on the top right. Stars to have a beginning, but are by their own power destroyed. Finite. History dictates that he who holds wisdom is the greatest fool. This could be called God's final warning. This clip is from the super popular anime Steins Gate, which I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a pretty big fan of it. You can adjust the speech and player volumes too, however you want, to get the perfect sound. If you encounter any problems, just pause the video and let the speech play out, and then replay it. 
If that doesn't work, just try selecting the TTS engine again. I haven't found any problems with it so far, so it should work fine. And yeah, that's my video. Thanks for watching, guys.